Hey guys, what's up? Well, hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. I'm uh, testing the mics that good old 628 Dirt Rooster sent me. Uh, Randy McCaffrey hooked me up with these microphones. Oh, this first video I'm, I'm shooting, trying these things out. Hopefully everything comes in clear and I guess we'll test this microphone placement I've got hooked to the collar of this bee jacket. Maybe it won't be rubbing too much, but uh, we're going to get in this colony today. Uh, I think the last time we were in here was nine or ten days ago. We checked to be sure that we did get a, a queen in there. Uh, this was that swarm that we had combined with that queenless colony. Uh, the last time we looked, we had a queen, but we didn't see any evidence of any kind of uh, eggs or larva or nothing like that. Which we've had, you know, the hurricane weather had come through. And even a few days before that, we had some really nasty rainy weather. So I'm hoping that we can open this thing up and see some kind of brood in here. Uh, so let's... Let's hop in and see what we got going on. A lot of activity on the front of this hive. Got some bees bringing in pollen. dive in see what's going on bees seem pretty chill so that's a plus looks like they completely devoured this other pollen patty that was in here This one's turned to mush. I'll just sit you right there for now. I hope your fingers are crossed. I got my toes crossed right now. We see some brood in here. Got a good population of bees. Right. Got a nice amount of pollen. Tons of syrup that they're storing in there. Okay, looking good. All right, look at that. Oh yeah, that's good. Got a nice little pattern for a newly mated queen. I'm not seeing her on this frame. this side look like oh yeah yeah she's putting some work in of course I'm blocking the sunlight so you may not be able to see too well down in there I can barely see down in the cells but got good good open larva all the way out to 
the edge of the honey over here. Man, these bees are calm as can be. They're just chill. Let's yank another frame real quick. Okay, so we got one frame that's got brood on both sides. It's not a lot, but then again, she just has started laying. I gotta give her credit. She's trying to lay eggs right in the middle of the hurricane, so there's that. Oh yeah, that's that's looking great. Still not seeing her anywhere. Which I'd like to put eyes on her, but I'm not really worried about that. Okay, we're probably getting close to her because right there is a, a ton of eggs and really young, it's like one or two day old larvae. Bees are bringing pollen in, they're waggling, little dancing all over the place. This bee over here, it's got a bunch of white pollen on it. Good deal. Man, that makes me happy to see that. I'm not gonna dig in any further, I'm just gonna leave them alone carefully put these frames back together. I did bring me a pollen patty out just in case we had eggs getting laid. So I'm gonna stick this back on. Get this frame back in. Man, that makes me happy. Uh, let me grab this thing here and slice it in two. There we go. I think what I'll do is I'll run up there to the house. And uh, I've got a couple I've got a few frames in the freezer that I can stick in another box. We'll give these girls a second story. Get that kind of mash down. There we go. We'll give these girls a second story that way they can, I'll continue to feed them. They get some weight in that upper box, so let me run up here to the house and I'll grab that stuff. Come back on and I'll button this hive up and then I'll continue. I want to jump in that one over there. So once I get all that prepped, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, here's that other hive I wanted to jump in. <clears throat> there's just not a whole lot going on on the landing board there's a few bees in and out but uh it's nothing like every single other colony i've got out here in the yard so i just want to take a quick peek i just want to be sure that there's brood in here uh, i'm sure when i pull this top off there's going to be a ton of bees on top but i need to know if there's brood in either of these boxes or if this one's going to end up being a candidate for a, a 
uh, some kind of a combine. So we're going to jump in here real quick and see what's going on with it. A lot of moisture on top of that cover. Lots of propolis they've been gluing stuff in. Let me yank this outer frame if I can. That sucker's in there. Okay. Well, there's some honey that I've tore open, so now I'm going to have to make this quick because I do not want to start a robbing frenzy out here. See if we have any brood in this top box. Okay, we got some brood in here. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> This brood pattern almost shaped like Kentucky. Good capped up brood. Uh, this is the same on the next frame and the next frame over. It's probably all right. I've already got some bees checking this colony out. Might be provoking a robbing situation. Of course, their feeder is completely dry as a bone, so I did feed this colony right before the hurricane hit, so they're pulling feed in much as they can. I don't smell any goldenrod yet. Uh, that's what I'm really worried about right now. Is after that storm, all the goldenrod around here is just laid down. The blooms are beat off of it. I just don't know if it's going to do anything uh, for me in my area this year. <clears throat> Where's my smoker? Here's my smoker. Let's take a quick peek down below. Oh boy, this box is heavy. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I've been in this colony down below, you can tell that. Let's 
try to check these out just as quick as possible. Okay, we got tons of larvae down in there. All right, we're good. I'm gonna get these girls back together before they get too upset with me. I'm sorry, I'm just checking you out, making sure you guys are good. Stick you back together. Get this heavy sucker stuck back. Shin back on. <sighs> Alrighty. These girls are doing okay. I guess she's just kind of slowed down a little more than the rest. So we'll leave these girls be and uh, we'll just keep doing our routine checks when we need to. It's heavy enough it don't need feed for a while, so thank goodness for that. <clears throat> but uh, I'm pretty much just going to go through here. I'm going to refill the buckets that I've got set on. I think all of them, but uh, one of them are currently empty. So I'm going to get those buckets filled back up. Uh, then I'm going to call it a day. Just out here peddling. My main goal today was to check that nuke out right there. I'll probably end up putting a bucket on it later on. I'll let them pull that syrup out of the jar first. As I stuck uh, five empty frames on top, I'll put a bucket on and let them get those frames full. But I want to be sure I do it whenever there's no kind of robbing in the yard. So I'm really hoping this, some kind of nectar plow out of this goldenrod will happen. Because if not, then I'm going to be doing some serious, serious feeding. But <clears throat> as usual, guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, scroll down there and hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Randy McCaffrey, uh, good old dirt rooster, for sending these microphones to me. Uh, really do appreciate it. It's going to help the channel out, and hopefully you guys can enjoy the, the better, more clear audio. So, till then, guys, hope you all have a good week. I'll try to touch the base with you again this coming weekend. So until then, 
Y'all take care. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.